Circle Live. We are joined by a history-making gold medalist yes. who holds the Team USA record for women's shot put. Oh, yes. Please welcome to Sister Circle Live, Olympian Michelle Carter. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous. Thank you. You Thank are, you. my dear. You are. Yes. Yes. So I have a quick question for you. I just yes. want to go ahead and get How did you become interested in this? Like, tell us about your journey. It, I mean, were you a child athlete? Well, yeah. What happened? I actually started throwing a shot put when I was in seventh grade. And uh, I just actually tried out for the team. The coach asked me. I came back home, asked my dad, hey, dad, can I try for the track team? He asked me a ton of questions. Like, who asked you? What exactly did they say? Like, what they, what they want you to do? I'm like, wait, I don't know what's going on. Because little did I know that he had won a silver medal in the 1984 Olympics mm. in the shot play. Because I grew up with him playing football, so I had no idea. Really? So he didn't want to tell me because he wanted me to choose a sport for myself if that was what I wanted to do. Yes. Well, let me just wow. tell, let me just explain to the people the tenacity <laughs> of how amazing this woman is. I also got in shot put in the seventh grade. Oh, yay. So in the seventh grade, I was throwing like 27, 28, and like winning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this sister threw 67 feet. Wow. My 67 God. feet and holds the record. Yes, I have the American record. Hello, somebody. <laughs> okay. And your father is the first um, African-American man to have a gold medal and a championship ring in the NFL in the same year. Wow. Yes. Uh, 1984 was a busy year for him. He yes. got married, graduated college, was drafted, went to the Olympics, won silver, went to the Super Bowl. So <laughs> it was a very busy year. Yes, was. <laughs> How was it to have him as your coach? I mean, obviously yeah. you've had the best, which mm -hmm. is why you're mm -hmm. the best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, my dad is still my coach. Oh, really? Yes, he is still my coach, and he still gets on my nerves sometimes. Okay. But, <laughs> That's okay. No, but it's, right. it's, it's great. It's definitely difficult when you're younger, mm -hmm. when your parents see so much potential in you, mm -hmm. but you don't know it yet, mm -hmm. and they want to push you, but they don't want to push you so far to where... Uh, you don't want to do the sport anymore. Uh -huh. So it's a fine balance. So over time, I, I learned to appreciate the push that my dad and my parents were giving me mm -hmm. to help me become who I am today. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you, you're beautiful all around. Thank you. Not only are you a world-class athlete, but you are a certified makeup artist. Yes. Now, how did that Because a lot of times, <laughs> yes. people will mistake just because a woman or a girl is interested in, af in, 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 in being an athlete course, right. that she's more of a tomboy. Mm -hmm. And yes. you're so not that. I've always been a girly girl. Hair, makeup, dresses, you name it. I want it. Mm -hmm. um, but I just learned how to bring who I am into my sport. Right. I did think about, like, leaving the makeup behind and just being that rough and tough, <clears throat> like, I don't care what I look like type of athlete, but that's not me. Why would you do that? Okay. No, right? So boring. <laughs> I was thinking, like, you know what? These pictures are going to last forever. I know that's but, right. <laughs> but I just brought makeup to what I do, and I made it me so I could feel comfortable when I perform, because mm -hmm. I really believe in when you look good, you feel good, you do good. Yeah. And I believe true. that wholeheartedly. Listen, you have a camp called... You throw girl. Yes. Do you bring this type you of throw confidence? Girl. Okay, you throw girl. <laughs> Do you bring this type of confidence and this kind of um, you know, merging beauty and sports? You know, do you do you uh, profess that in your camp? I do. So I named the whole camp You Throw Girl Sports Confidence Camp. Oh, okay. Because I, I wanted to talk to female athletes about um, being confident being an athlete. Mm -hmm. Because People want to separate the two. You can yes. be a person yes. or, and, you know, you could be an athlete. But you can't to be, be separate. both. Mm -hmm. Yes. So mm -hmm. I want to merge the two together. It does make you feel comfortable about what your body was created to do and who you are and that you can be pretty or look the way you want to look and still be great right. as an athlete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's real yeah. good. All right. Well, listen, guys, don't go anywhere because when we return, we have more with Michelle. And she's going to tell us how she accomplished all her goals with one simple method. You don't want to miss it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We are back on Sister Circle Live, and before the break, we were speaking with Olympic gold medalist, Michelle Carter, who is ready to share the secret behind all of her success. And you see her gold medal. I know. Hello, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real one. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. It's very heavy, by the way. So how do you build your vision board? I was told that this is how you really kind of motivate yourself for success. Yes, I do. I like to use a mixture of pictures, and words because uh -huh. I believe that words are definitely encouraging mm -hmm. and building yourself up. Uh -huh. So I like to 
pick different uh, categories of my mm -hmm. life that I want to focus on yeah. and build positivity and have these reminders and my goals um, on there as a reminder to always look at to yes. that's what I'm going for. Yes, yes. And Ooh. so <clears throat> benefits of this vision board, um, is it the act of it? Like, what are some of the techniques you use to kind of create it? Like, do you go for the words first or pictures first? Well, yeah, well, first of all, when you're creating a vision board, mm -hmm. it's fun activities mm -hmm. for your friends and family. Mm -hmm. My girlfriends <clears throat> love this. It provides an incentive, mm -hmm. kind of gives you that thing to go for. Mm -hmm. Also, um, it's a great visual visualization tool mm -hmm. because visualization <clears throat> has more impact than you think it does. Mm -hmm. Because the more you can see it in your mind, the more you can create it in the physical world. Correct. And it's just yes. like using words where you, you, you use the words, you see the words. When people maybe um, take the little sticky notes and they put it on their, yeah. their mirrors yes. and everything, like, those are words of affirmation. Yes. So you're constantly telling yourself that. And if you're telling yourself, you're speaking it into existence. Mm -hmm. yes. So I like that. And yes. where do you put it in your <laughs> house um i put it on the wall like next to my tv mm -hmm. so if i'm looking at tv i kind of just look over and i can see it and just mm -hmm. remind myself if i'm watching tv a little too long oh that's <laughs> real good I okay like that. yes so can can we try to start on one or what yes are we, we sure can okay so well, this is so like the, i kind of okay, already started she, she helped us out oh, okay let me put my yes. letter down yeah i don't want so of course we Pick out, pick out your favorite magazines, mm -hmm. okay, let's some go with that Gabrielle. motivate you, and pick out um, well, no, articles wanna, that you like. I don't want to cut on this one. This is, this is Gabrielle Holmes. <laughs> this is the new Ebony. Yeah. I don't want right. to cut any pictures out of this picture. one. Just okay, throw it let's on see. We're here. We have some quotes okay. and some pictures. I know, Kwa, you love your puppy ah, dog. I do love my girls. Yes. We, we want to be at the Essence Festival, <laughs> so, so we're going to put that on there. All right, so let's put a little glue on there. And then... Selena, I know you're okay. a mom. We have one that says super mom Ooh, over where here. Say? Put that at the top. Oh, I like this one too. By women for, for women. women. Yes. Yes. That's a great reminder. What else you got going on? Oh, I so like style now. It says Ooh, style at every now. age. Style that's at every age. There you go. And my, and my <laughs> birthday is approaching, so I'll be, I'll be another <laughs> age. So style at every age. Okay, I like that. There you go. Uh, excellence. We can't forget this. We, yes, because yes. excellence is something that we strive we for. We all should strive for. Yes. Clearly. So put that there. And then oh, we can put this is a good one. This is a right good here. one. Finding balance yep. from within. All right, yes. Let that be our last this one. This is a good one. Yes. And congratulations on your engagement. Thank you. Girl, you <laughs> so got a man, man too. Um, it's going great. Wedding planning is... Um, Taxing. Yes, it is. Very much so. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm going to figure it all out. <laughs> well, while we finish this vision board, we want to see what's going on over here with Rashawn and Kiana. What y'all over there doing? <laughs>